the feedback. I did a focus <clears> group <throat> on mastering the man. I had a lot of women like, oh, I can't get past the man part. This mastering mm, the man. Yeah. And I'm like, it, really, I'm like, it ain't for you. You know what right, I mean? Because right, right. like the things that I'm saying, the, the tools that I'm giving, the habits that I'm saying are for anybody who's trying to be better. Right. Like it's all self, it's all proven self-improvement stuff. Right. So like if you harped up on Master the and name the man, of the man, yeah. Then you ain't really trying to grow because that, mm. that's just another excuse, you know. True, what I mean? true, so true, true. You telling me you Especially can't read if I told because you. I said Master and the Man told you to read, right? Like, yeah, that yeah, don't even true. Make sense. So, yeah, true, true. A lot of my content this year is really like men's focused, um, but tangible. I don't want to just be talking. I'm like building courses, building like free material for people. And yeah. mentorship, so that's what mm. I'm tackling this year. A lot of mentorship, mentorship, in person yeah. mentorship or virtual, in person mentor, virtual, soon. virtual. Okay. Um, because, I mean, a grown man, he he lost. I ain't, I ain't gonna say he's a lost mm-hmm. cause. Yeah. But he gonna do what he want to do. You a grown I mean? man, a grown man is gonna do what he. No, wanna that's do. a fact. That's a you fact. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it's harder for me to like try to convince you of making a certain change that I like. I've seen the betterment. From, yeah, yeah. For it's you easier to, just to want to do it yourself. It's you know? easier to uh, guide the youth towards yeah. change yeah. than it is. Uh, did you have a mentor when you were growing up? Um, I did and I didn't. So I yeah. grew up with a, like my older cousins. Um, just I grew up in, with the older crowd. My brothers right, are right. five, six years older than me. So yeah. I was always a young bull, but I was chilling. You know, right, I mean? right, just soaking right, up right. games. So I knew how to be around older people. Um, I had coaches, True. but I never really had nobody like give me game. And that's why I was like, that's what we need. You know yeah, what I mean? True, true, like, true. Because we don't have anybody in our community that's really like praised for just giving game. You Not know as what a mean? fact. You got to be an athlete. You got to be a, a rapper or something like that. But yeah, literally, if you ask yourself the question, like one of the main questions that I'm trying to answer in this next year is like, when do you become a man? Mm. Like, when does a man become a man? Like in right. the black. In the black culture. Right. We used to have, like, rituals. We used to have stuff that we would do, rites of passage. But we don't got that in black America. No, not you know no what more. I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, not like we used to. In the Jewish community, they got bat mitzvahs and stuff. They got definitive points. Women, they yeah. know a definitive physical Mexican moment. Mexican cultures has the yeah. quinceanera and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Women have a definitive physical moment when they become a woman. Right, that's true. You know what I mean? You start getting breasts. You start going through your menstrual Go cycle. through periods, yeah. You're like, all right, you're a woman now. Right, like, facts, yeah. Men... We told when you get some pussy. That's a fact. Like, yeah. I, I literally was told when I get some pussy, I'm a man. That's a true, that, that's like, a true ass statement. Yeah, that's true. And a lot of times people aren't the man that they want to be or the man that they're, they have worked for until 30s, in their 30s. It, yeah. A it, lot of the time. I was 26 when I started living for myself. Right. Like, yeah. when I started doing what I wanted to do. Yeah, like, uh, I think a lot of, I think something that's, um, I think something that's uh, misunderstood or just not acknowledged at all yeah. uh, by a lot of people on the masses is men finding their identity. It takes them a lot longer yeah. a lot of the times. They don't get it until much later in their yeah. life. Unless it, somebody puts you on. Unless yeah. somebody, unless they have that mentorship. Yeah. Because that mentorship is not follow my footsteps exactly. Yeah. It's live your life in these certain disciplined ways. Yeah. And that'll help you find who you are a lot it's faster. It's lack of discipline, man. Right, like, right. That's what I really want to be. I want to be a, a resource. Like, I always call myself a vessel. Yeah. Like, even when I'm on podcasts, when I'm doing interviews and stuff, I always pray before and I'm like, just let my words, like, come from you. Like, like I want to yeah. be a vessel. I don't want my bias, my own standards of thinking to, like, weigh on anybody else. Yeah. But I want to spark how you think. Right, like, right. most people aren't happy with their life. They don't think they could change. But what if you can? Right. 